Hi friends, welcome to my channel. I'm Sunique and today I've got another zine from the Charlotte Seaweed Kisses. I think this is a junk journal. Um, I'm just covering this up because it's my address. But as you can actually see here, we've got some beautiful stamping going on and one of Michelle's uh, favourite stickers, Handle With Care, Do Not Bend, which I tend to put on all their journals. This is the back and they've stamped it as well, which is lovely. Um, so you may recall I've shown two other of theirs, one the Spring Fling zine and then the Junk Journal zine. Beautiful. So let's look at the latest uh, offering from Michelle. Oh, I'm really looking forward to opening this now. I don't want to open that there because that's going to sort of remove those stickers, isn't it? Although, I, I don't know, would that, oh, would that work? If I go like that, am I going to actually lose part of that? I'm not sure, you know, but it's, I do want to actually use that in my own journal. So mm, I'll do it this way for now. Yeah, do it this way for now, so we shall see. Okay, let's open, open them up. Ooh. I am really looking forward to this. I love that offerings. Oh! Look at this. Oh, I suppose, yeah, it goes that way. So this is an actual... Um, junk journal. So we've got a little envelope here with some little pretty stickers on. I wonder what's in here. <gasps> oh! Who's there? Trying not to rip it and ripping it. Okay. How to use this scene? Write, draw, create in it. May your inner muse guide and inspire you through this creative journey. Have fun, Michelle at Seaweed Kisses. So we've got a couple of labels here. Whilst we have oh, a stamp. Oh, that's really pretty. We have some stickers. <laughs> Iced tea. I decide my vibe. Ooh. And if found, return to traveller. Oh, those are really cool. Ooh. Okay, and also, there seems to be a little token here. And as usual, Michelle's actually put this, a piece of wool around to, to hold it together. So let's just take it off and, and see what we have. So it... It looks like there's something else. Oh, shall I wait? <laughs> I'll wait till I get to that page. But look, look, there's something else in there. So this is a print of a journal that Michelle has put together from junk, from everyday junk. So it's sort of giving me a little bit of inspiration for creating my own, hopefully at some point. So let's have a look. Please open immediately. You see, they're all from... Uh, postings that Michelle has had and pulled out and then pasted onto a background. That's a bit of vellum there, nice pink vellum, held with a little bit of tape. So these have been done individually, which is really nice touch. Again, so this is all printed and Michelle said they are fountain pen friendly when I asked. So elevate your everyday the heart sees deeper than the eye. Let your heart speak to others' hearts. So this looks like some sort of um, paper bag. Yeah. <laughs> Borrower's name. So it looks like a library card that's been stamped here. And then we have flower stickers. But actual... Yeah, these parts are printed, but this is an actual bit of tape here. So we do get some tactile experience as well. Looks so pretty, doesn't it? So aesthetically pleasing. See, that's bubble wrap on the inside of an envelope. Oh, look. It's a print, but it's just been held in with some tape there. So you can actually sort of write on the back of there. 
as a two pin. Oh, so pretty. Some stickers. If you live for people's acceptance, you will die from their rejection. Oh, that's profound. So although this is actual printed paper, it does still feel as if it could be tactile, you know. All these stamps and stickers. And Michelle has actually drawn around in pencil as well. Just give it a little bit of an extra something. Do not bend. <laughs> Back of an envelope. Some paper. So you can see, yeah, it's just junk. <laughs> but just used aesthetically. Yep, this is real. Well, actually, it's not. It's printed, but it's just been. It has been taped in. So yeah, nice touches there. There are the tactile. My favourite thing is my day to day life. Rest matters. And here we can see we've got some sort of um, cloth fabric bag that's been used and photocopied. Really nice A cloth bag there. Oh, lots of really good ideas to make our own. Which I fully intend to do. Thank you, have a nice day. <laughs> Again, tipped in. Sorry about the seagulls, <laughs> it's usual. Oh, so I've got the other half of that um, uh, bag. I'm not quite sure what this is. Take a moment to clear your mind. So we've got layers as well. That, that's really nice as well, isn't it? So creative. Oh, this is what we have. Oh, yeah, so that's a ripped envelope showing the bubble wrap and even a barcode. <laughs> oh, do we have here? Okay, so it's taped in a heart shape cut out. We can use to write on and then we've got some more images on the back here and I think what I like about this is because it's American it's something I'm not privy to unless I actually go over there and start collecting these sort of things there's no way I could um, have these and so mine is going to be more of a a British inspired junk journal that's what I do intend to do one <laughs> anyway thinking of I oh, really like this. I remember when Michelle showed this on on their channel. I saw that and I thought, oh, that looks really cool. Really like that. And then we have some colour here, some pink and yellows. <laughs> tea. tea bags and I do not like tea. But, so I would never actually have this sort of thing to put in mind. But anyway, we have some stamps. Interesting, these are English. And some more texture. And here's the end page. So an attitude of gratitude brings opportunities. The first step to being great is being grateful. Even if I don't have what I want, I am fortunate enough to have what I need. Thank you for being a part of this creative journey. And there Michelle assigned it. And here. So these personal touches are so nice. And this again, I think is cardboard. Yeah, and packing tape. So that's the latest offering from Michelle at Seaweed Kisses. I'm going to enjoy playing with this one as I've enjoyed playing with the others. And as I said, the inspiration for something I might create for myself as well and print so I can reuse it. Well, I don't know how that went now. <laughs> See? It's all very well being creative if you know what you're doing, <laughs> which I clearly don't. Oh, how does that work? Uh, like that, I think. Okay, I think I got it. Mm, yeah, yeah, I got it. <laughs> oh dear. There we go. I think that was at the front, wasn't it? That bit. I, th I don't know if I can do this. <laughs> 
Anyway, real life, y'all. <laughs> Pull it round. Pull it up round. Nah, it's not going to work. I will do it off camera because I'm clearly making a complete hash of this. But anyway, thank you so much, Michelle, for producing something that's just so aesthetically pleasing to me and so creative. And until my next video, thank you so much for watching, friends. Bye now. Bye.